Welcome. Oh, that wait, that's not my show. Uh, <laughs> welcome to the Scale News Update. If you're not familiar with this show, what rock have you been living under? Although, if you are not familiar with this show, uh, this is where we talk about the news topics that happened this week in the world of Scale RC, or something to that effect. I don't know what he says. Josh is off this week. I am infinitely better at this job. Let's jump right into the first topic. Proline has announced a 1.0 Hyrax, and it is pre-mounted on their own set of wheels. These are the Impulse wheels. They are a one inch beadlock, which is pretty exciting. Uh, they come pre-mounted, but they are not glued on. They, it is a beadlock wheel, so you can take them off and put any other wheel you want on there. So uh, nice to see Proline getting a little more serious in the small scale world. And speaking of small scale, Proline also announced their Chevy body for the SCX24 product line. This is a 1978 Chevy K10 body that will fit on your Axial SCX24. Uh, good looking body, nice small proportions. Uh, nice to have another option out there. It's not a hard body though. And also from Proline this week, the 10th scale drag scene gets another body, or at least another iteration of a body that's already been out there. This is the 1972 Plymouth Barracuda, the Motown Missile. And this is a tough body, all molded in that black tough plastic, so you don't have to apply any paint whatsoever. Just slap your stickers on and you're ready to go. And I gotta say, it's a pretty good looking body, and definitely one that I would recommend, despite it not needing any paint. If you're interested in any of these products, I'll be sure that Josh writes up a description and puts all those links down below. And in probably the most secretive news that I've kept, the Vanquish VS410 Phoenix has been added to the product line. This is a new portal axled truck, plastic axles, lots of really great cool features, including a selectable overdrive and dig. It's a very good truck. And that's unbiased news for you right there and people have already been receiving them. I really like the fact that it was available on day one. They announced it, you could go buy it. Pretty exciting stuff. It's an excellent kit uh, and rolls in at a reasonable price of $4.99. So you can pick one of those up at the link down below. From what I understand it, and Josh has been pretty uh, incommunicado, because he is on vacation, of course, there will be a Friday Night Live VS410 Phoenix Portal build that he's going to do. So that'll be pretty exciting to watch if you haven't already watched my build video. <laughs> and speaking of that VS410 Phoenix, Knight Customs has released a series of parts including a radiator, snorkel, roll cage, light bar. You can also get an adventure rag to put a rooftop tent on. There are a ton of really cool printable accessories from Knight Customs now available, whether it be through Shapeways or his Maya Mini Factory where you can print them at home. Pretty awesome stuff. Glad to see that the aftermarket is already embracing a brand new product. And in other Night Customs news, there is a new bed cover available for the Element RC Night Runner. It's odd that James Knight is coming out with products for a truck that bears his name. No one else sees the irony in that? <laughs> Very cool bed cover uh, and uh, functional too. So if you wanted to continue to use your uh, rooftop tent assembly on that truck, you can. And just in time for the holidays, Arma's released two new vehicles. First, the Infraction 4x4 Mega, which is a brushed powered 2S LiPo capable vehicle, uh, meant to sort of slot in underneath the full size Infraction. This one's more of an on off road with knobbier tires sort of vehicle. Uh, very interesting release. Uh, definitely, I think, probably geared more towards your kids than towards the adult market. Uh, and then there is the Vendetta BLX, which is a 3S LiPo battery capable 70 mile per hour speed car, which looks pretty interesting, I must say. And the teasers for that definitely uh, got my imagination flowing. I thought they were releasing some sort of drag car, which would have been interesting too. This car definitely looks to be a very purpose built speed machine. I wonder if Duratrax will be suing Arma over that uh, Vendetta name. Does anybody remember? the Duratrax Vendetta 118 scale? Probably not. <laughs> and in Josh only news, WPL released a Daihatsu branded van that is sort of in that same key truck kind of world. And uh, it's an RTR for $69. I'll file that under things I'll never buy. 
Reefs RC is coming out with a special limited edition servo. This is the Operation 11 Charlie servo, and part of the proceeds are going to go to benefit directly the veterans of the United States military. Reefs told us that he will be doing his best to get as many veterans to the next year's USTE event, uh, and he's going to pay as much as he can to get as many of those veterans out to enjoy their tiny trucks, which I think is pretty cool. If you want more information about that, I'll definitely try to get a link down below. Reefs was quoted as saying, my goal is to pay for all the veterans that want to go to USTE next year, cover all the flights and accommodations for all veterans, which is a very cool thing. And that's very awesome to see Reefs do that and to partner up with Operation 11 Charlie. In big RC news, Cross RC has leaked some renderings of the new DC-8 8x8 military truck. This is definitely an interesting looking truck. It is 12th scale. Uh, it is actually about the same size as their BC-8 Mammoth, uh, just a slightly different design, uh, but uh, should carry a lot of really interesting features over. Uh, there are some nice exploded views on the website, and you can check all of that out. Uh, I definitely think that this is one of those trucks that um, could be the thing that got me to get across RC. We'll see as more actual photos are released. And in micro ESC news, Furitech has released a brand new Lizard ESC combo. Uh, this, uh, it, this contains the Bluetooth module and is for brushed motor operation only. It does have a much stronger BEC than the standard Lizard, so there are some significant upgrades there. It definitely looks to be the next upgrade I'll be making to one of my other SCX24s. And finally, and I think probably the most interesting piece of news, released information on an upcoming Batmobile release for the new Batman movie that's coming out next year. This is a brand new look to the Batmobile. It's a lot more gritty uh, and is certainly an interesting looking RC. Now, uh, this is a full function RC and includes a lot of really cool LED light features as well as a water misting unit to create smoke or mist or fog to come out of the back of that very detailed engine that's included in this car. Uh, it looks to be a fairly large scale, looks about eighth scale if I'm honest, and uh, comes with a really cool uh, bat cave kind of diorama, uh, all lights up uh, and is what looks to be very, very cool for the price that they're offering at. It's available for pre-order right now through the <laughs> website. I think the price is about 500 bucks, which isn't too shabby. Uh, no idea about the actual RC electronics underneath, but we do know from past releases, Hot Wheels did partner up with Charisma to bring you the Tesla Cybertruck. So maybe there's another partnership here for this one. Taking a good look at the renderings and the actual prototype, which I believe to be the prototype that's featured on the website, there are some 3D printed elements there. I'm sure it's just because it is a prototype. I'll be really keen to see how many of these details carry over to the final unit. Anyway, links down below. Uh, that's going to do it. Oh, wait, actually, SSDs released a bunch of really cool upgrades for the Rift. And I'll be installing these parts on my Rift in the next live stream that I'll be doing, probably next Tuesday. So keep your eyes out for that. Shameless plug. <laughs> Okay, I think that's going to do it for the news portion of this show. Now for this week's question. Seeing that the VS410 Phoenix has been released and there are a lot of really cool features in there, I want to know if you were to have that truck, would you be using the selectable overdrive? Would you be using the dig? Would you be using a combination of both or none at all? It has the ability to lock out all of those things so you don't have to use them, which is a pretty cool feature. Will you be using any of those features and what combination will you be using them in? Put your comments down below. You know I love reading through feedback. I probably won't look through this feedback because this isn't my channel. <laughs> Regardless though, put your comments down below. I'm sure Josh would love reading through them. So that's going to do it for this episode of the Scale News Update. I hope you've enjoyed dealing with me and my ugly face. <laughs> we'll see you again soon. <laughs>